Hey guys, it's Sithlore. Wanted to talk about Sweeping Wind, which is another one of the skills that received a buff in 1.07, and honestly I'm a little surprised that it did, because Sweeping Wind was a constant on many many builds uh, as a result of the Cyclone skill. And so although they did change it a little bit because it was being abused, it did increase the, the damage per stack. And so basically the way this skill works is you cast it and there is a a wind that goes around you and you can see that it's doing a decent amount of damage. It doesn't last all that long, it costs 75 spirit, so you have to be a little conscious of when you're using it, but because of the fact that it resets every time you hit an enemy in any densely uh, populated areas, you're going to be able to keep it up most of the time. Unless, of course, um, you run into a dead end like I just did. So overall, it's a, it's a really effective skill. It does trigger quite often and extremely effective for AoE. So because of the fact that it impacts every single enemy within, within range. And so uh, it still does quite a bit of damage and is, uh, is a really good skill. So let's go to town and take a look at the various rune choices. So the very first rune choice is Master of Wind. So usually it only lasts for six seconds, whereas with Master of Wind it lasts for 20 seconds. So you can essentially keep this thing up at all times and then you can just sit here run around. There's the damage that it's doing. Um, so even though my damage is only 29,000, it still does quite a bit of damage and, and is an extremely effective skill as a result. It's one of those things, especially with this rune choice, where it's cast and forget. So the rune choice that I was just showing, Master of Wind, doesn't increase the damage at all. Uh, when, when I say 20%, it's 20% per stack. So depending on your crit hit chance, the faster you're... Uh, you'll be able to get up to three stacks, which is the maximum. So essentially everyone around me is taking 60% weapon damage. And because of the fact that this does seem to trigger with attack speed, it is really 60% of your DPS, not just your, your attack speed. Or sorry, not just your weapon damage per second, which makes this skill even that much more powerful. Uh, so a really good skill. Uh, the biggest complaint that I had about this skill was the fact that uh, if you don't have a very good critical hit chance, then it doesn't last that long, and uh, or it doesn't get up to three stacks, and um, if you don't have a fast attack speed and fa good range, then it's not going to last that long, although Master of Wind uh, is extremely effective as a result of how long it lasts. So once we take out this enemy, Alright, there we go. Oh, very nice. And I am going to go back to town. We'll identify this, see what kind of scorn that I got, and then switch up the rune choices. Empty socket, critical hit 146, intelligence. 296. All right, very nice. I will have to try that out on my witch doctor and see how things go. Anyways, back to this. Uh, so blade storm is the next one. So this does increase the damage. Rather than being simply 20%, it is 26% per stack. So that you can have a maximum of 78% weapon damage. So as I said, this is simply a skill that increases the damage. And as a result of the increased damage, uh, you're able to take out enemies a lot quicker and easier. So 
so because of the fact it's increased damage, I'm not going to do a lot, just show you this battle, and then we'll go back to town. So Firestorm is the next one. So Firestorm does two things. The first thing that it does is, as you can see, it increases the range significantly. And the second thing it does is it's now fire damage as well. So if you have any items or skills that uh, increase fire damage, then it becomes quite effective for, for that purpose. It's back to the... Uh, all of the other skills are with the lower... Uh, cooldown or the longer, l shorter duration. Um, duration is the word I was looking for. So, the thing that I don't like about this skill is when you have multiple stacks going on, as I do now, I find it very difficult to see some of the things that are going on around you. So, when you're dealing with an elite pack uh, that has plagued or desecrator or something along that line, then that's where I find the, the real challenges are with this skill. So the skill itself is fine, but it's the appearance and uh, that I'm not a fan of. So the last two rune choices, the first one is Inner Storm. So as long as you have the sweeping wind up, then you're gaining three, ma three spirit per second. So the three spirit per second is good, but realistically, in my mind, you're already gaining enough spirit as a result of, of your primary skill, that it's not overly advantageous. Uh, but still helpful. So the very last one, which I'm going to go to another area, is by far the most popular rune choice. And so Cyclone, it does the same amount of damage as Bladestorm, so the maximum amount of damage, but the tornadoes last, uh, and tornadoes do a significant oops, forgot to change the area. The uh, tornadoes will do a significant uh, amount of damage as a result. So let us go to the keeps level three. And the tornadoes just spit out. So this is essentially the whirlwind. So you can see how quickly I'm taking out these guys. And just an extremely effective skill, especially with the increased damage. So this is, in my opinion, by far the, the best rune choice and just does tons of damage. You can obliterate uh, single enemies and bosses, especially Uber, or including Ubers, um, pretty easily. So. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below.